Okay, next stage of this bounty experience. <laughs> next stage of making stuff look pretty is to understand lighting. I'm gonna go through a couple things that kind of get annoying when you're first using Unreal. So because we're using a games making engine, it's different to other 3D software. It uses three types of lighting, static, stationary, and movable. And these three types are laid out differently because it helps Unreal do the amazing thing that it does, which is render and run in real time. So I'm gonna go through what these three kinds of lighting do and some best practices for chucking your lights into your level. Okay, freaking sickness dude, done very well to get to this point. Um, yeah, something you'll want to pay attention to, something that annoyed me for ages starting up Unreal Engine, is this lighting needs to be rebuilt, 23 unbuilt object. You'll get this error message all the time. Um, so, you know, usually you can just go up here, drag in, spotlight, rah, it's gonna act as you, as intended. And you know, it sort of does, move it around, you get an idea of what's going on. But it says, yo, lighting needs to be rebuilt. And what is that? Why is it rebuilding this light? Rebuilding basically means baking, bake, baking lighting. So because it's a games making engine, it's trying to optimize as much as it can. This is one of the reasons why Unreal can run super fast because it bakes quite a lot of the lighting into the geometry as much as possible anyway. Obviously dynamic shadows and everything is a huge part of stuff looking awesome and responsive and stuff. So uh, we want dynamic shadows wherever we can, but to make everything run in real time, you gotta be baking some of your lighting. Baking, aka building, is just taking these shadow maps where the shadows are falling and everything and drawing that onto the actual geometry. Unchangeable, it's never gonna change once it's on there. Old games used to have to do this all the time. Grim Fandango is a really good example of this. They recently remastered Day of the Tentacle and they talk about it in this game dev conference uh, talk. Uh, it's really interesting. Talked about some of the stuff they had to do to remaster Grim Fandango. And a lot of it was getting some of this dynamic lighting in there. Notice the old games, you could walk in front of a light and it wouldn't make any difference. They've now remastered it so that there is a bit more dynamic lighting because there's a bit more processing power these days. So what does that mean for us? What it is, is we have three options, stationary, static or movable. You're most, mostly going to be in the area of stationary because that's a mixture of both. So stationary means that most of the lighting is baked on, that's why it's telling me to rebuild. But if you have an object like this, uh, that is set to movable itself, then that object only will affect the light. Generally, all your landscapes and everything are going to be static, so they're not going to move. But objects like this guy, he's going to be movable, so he's going to affect the light here. So basically when you're dealing with your lights, if they're one light that's not going to be animated or moving or anything, keep it stationary. Um, it's going to have a nice middle ground between baking and things that are moving are going to um, are going to cast sh shadows, the shadows are going to change. If your light's ever looking weird, go to build, build lighting only. You can also change the quality uh, and there's loads more you can go into there. That, but yeah, remember to build your lighting. That's going to bake the bits that can be baked, help your game render at runtime. Um, and as always, check the Unreal Engine documentation to learn loads more about the difference between static, stationary and movable lights and where their uses will be. If you get to the point where you have to try and make stuff run better, you might be wanting to look at baking some of your lighting. And if you end up getting into DMX and moving moving light and things like that, they're gonna wanna be set to movable. If you have a night and day system where the skylight moves all the way over, um, that is also gonna wanna be a movable light. But that is pretty much the only use you're gonna have for it. So basically what I'm saying is keep that Keep that stationary a lot of the time and don't forget to build your lighting to get the real impact of what your lighting is looking like. 